What a surprise, surprise, the Chinese were able to work out the Achilles heel of the West is that we are easily distracted by things. But we will not be mm. when it comes to discussing the news of the day, Holly, and these mm. superannuation changes. Oh, no, no nothing, ba nothing major before the election. Mm. The biggest change in 30 years after the election. And, of course, they're going to aim all of this at pretending that we're trying to defend people with, you know, $400 million in their superannuation. It's about the tax that everyone pays. Mm. And it's, of course, what we are forced to do by law to apparently take care of ourselves for our retirement. This is as red hot as it gets. What do you well, reckon? It's just another broken promise by this government. They ran a very small strategy in the lead up to the election. Uh, you know, wear a safe pair of hands. Nothing's going to change. If there's a change of government, you can all breathe easy. Uh, but, you know, there's all these pra all these promises that are being broken uh, day after day. You know, they've 97 times, $275 was coming off your power bill. We're now looking at those prices spiking by at least 50% in both gas and electricity. And this take on superannuation, I mean, super funds are basically run by the unions. And what the Labor Party doesn't seem to Correct. understand is this is Australian taxpayers' money. This is Australians' money. This is not the government's money. This is not the union's money. And it's most certainly not the Labor Party's money to just play with. And it's very, very frightening that they seem to be just turning everything that they did before the, on the, before the election on its head. Uh, and voters have a very, very good reason to be upset with this. Uh, and I hope that people are paying attention because it will affect everyone as their retirement approaches. Well... When even the lefty news websites are saying that the honeymoon is over, again, mm. no one's about to get super buyers regret and want to change the government. But, Nicholas, why are we wrong here? I mean, last time I checked, it was my full-time job uh, to pay full attention to everything that's being said, and we certainly know I was laser-like in the last election about what Albo was putting on the table. I must have missed a bit where apparently superannuation taxes are changing. Well, I mean, the current changes that are being proposed are pretty limited. They're just winding back a measure which was introduced uh, in emergency times around superannuation. And, I mean, let's not forget, every time you uh, have people, you know, hacking into their superannuation, they are affecting their lifetime savings and affecting the quality of their retirement. So that was a, a small and sensible to measure. Buy a house they might sell. More broadly, mm, I think Jim Chalmers has been brave to say... More broadly, Holly, I think Jim Chalmers has been brave to say, yeah, let's have the debate about those superannuation concessions. I mean, we're not talking about a million dollars here or there, guys. We're talking about $52 billion in concessions every year. That's $52,000 million in tax concessions every year. It's as big as the pension is now. And, yeah, you know, we've got a is, huge job to do as a country. We're the paying the debt after say up COVID and all of that. So it's, change a, this system. it's a debate we need to have. It is. Well, it wasn't a debate we needed to have before the election. Before the election, both Mr Albanese and Dr Chalmers said very specifically that there would be no big changes to superannuation, that there would be no changes should the government change hands. And yet we are less than a year in and we are seeing promise after promise fade away into the abyss, but also this blatant backflipping. And I think the lesson learnt from Bill Shorten and what he wanted to do on franking credits, what they took away from that was keep the policy, keep what we want to do, but just don't talk about it before the election. And that's what this looks like. Well, you Correct. can keep, you know, spending tax concessions till the cows come home, but the country can't well, afford it, Holly. tell the electorate beforehand. Don't tax lie about it. Tax concessions, it's people with their own money. Anyway, don't lie about it, it before the election and change it within a year.